Dynamics 365 for sales integration. Again, this goes back to some of the commitment that Microsoft is doing around pulling together their entire 365 suite to be able to have everything talk to each other seamlessly. What they've done here is through an assistive setup, they've created more like a wizard to help you set up what the connection should look like and what data you want to synchronize between both NAV and CRM, Dynamics 365 for sales. That wizard really takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. And then the connection setup guide really helps you through the entire process as well. From a synchronization standpoint, you can run a full synchronization once that connection is set up. And then as time goes on, you can just run a partial sync. If at any point anything falls out of sync between CRM and NAV, you can just redo a complete resync and bring everything back together. From a productivity standpoint, they've done some enhancements where creating a sales order or purchase order document by default codes, things like your salesperson or your purchaser automatically from the account. It sets default for you for opportunities and updates sales stages. Now, if you're familiar with Dynamics CRM, you know that a lot of the sell process within CRM is defined by you as the customer. And here we can have NAV dynamically advance the sales stages and make sure each opportunity is in an appropriate stage for you. And then of course, we continue to have the ability to send quotes to contacts without having to create them as a customer. That's always been the case on the NAV side. Now we have the capability to do it from NAV into Dynamics CRM and back and forth both ways. From an efficiency standpoint, Microsoft made two huge improvements to this connector that also existed since NAV 2016 one of which is the ability to use write-in products. And write-in products is a CRM concept for having the need to sell a customer something that you don't already have an item number for. And that's called a write-in product in CRM. And you can literally type in anything and sell them that thing. Of course, in NAV ecosystem, that doesn't really bode very well because you kind of got to have an item number there to be able to price it correctly and, of course, order it and that kind of thing. Well, they added the ability to do that now, and that write-in product will automatically create an item in NAV upon doing the synchronization and being able to now put that directly onto the sales order. The other major improvements they made in this arena is around the workflow for the sales order. In NAV 2016 and 2017, when a sales order is created in CRM, it would come down to NAV and sit in a holding table for somebody to review and click a button to convert it to an actual sales order. They streamlined that process. You no longer have that additional intermediary step upon creating the sales order in CRM. The synchronization then brings it directly into a sales order in NAV. So here's what that setup screen looks like. It's, again, pretty straightforward where we see the assisted setup here up on the right, and this really steps you through precisely all the settings that you need to configure in order to have your Dynamics 365 for Sales integrate into NAV. The synchronizations that we talked about a minute ago, and even the definition of tables that you want mapped back and forth. So again, some really streamlining processes here in terms of how to set it up and how to continue to move it forward.